Well, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to Craniac Gaming. We are back with the first episode of the Titan slash Carson City franchise here on NCAA Football 07 and Madden NFL 07 on the PS2. And I'm excited to finally get this series going. Now, in this episode, we're only going to play a game for Carson City because at this point, the Titans are finishing up with their preseason, and I'm not going to play any preseason games in this series unless you guys want me to do it next year, at least to see all of our draft picks, but it's only going to be a Carson City game in this one. The next episode will feature both teams, but anyways, make sure you guys hit that like button, hit the sub button if you're new as well, click on the notification bell to join the notification gang, and let's get into it. We're taking on Weaver State to start the season because I wanted to face an easier team just to at least get us our first one of the season, but as you're going to see early in this game, Weber State definitely going to give us some issues. Here's a first and ten handoff to number 23. None of Weber State's players have names in this game because even if you auto-generate the names, if you don't put them in the actual dynasty, all the names are going to be their numbers and positions. So anyways, here's a deep throw, and number 81 going to come up with the grab right in front of Ben Mott. The one who's not me, by the way. And a big first down for Weber State. Now a third and eight. Number 11 dropping back. And he's scrambling. He's going to throw off his back foot. He's going to be intercepted. Kadeem Olenrawaju with the pick. And we're able to hold off Weber State from scoring. So now here's our first possession. Alex Cobb going to run the option. Pitches it out to Eugene Smith. And Smith going to get a first down on his first carry of the season. So now first and ten. Cobb going to drop back. Throws it to the right side, and it's completed to Bobby Polino, who's going to pick up the first down. And now we're facing a third and ten. Cobb going to drop back again. He's going to throw it deep, looking for Justin Carr the second, but he overthrows him, and our drive stalls out. So now Weber State with great field position. The throw over the middle, he finds number 81. He's going to pick up the first down. And now here's number 11 again. He's going to throw it deep. Morton. Probably should have had that pick, but instead it's caught by number 42 for the touchdown. And Weber State takes an early 7-0 lead. So now we get the ball back. We face the third and 10. Cobb going to roll to his left. And it looks like he's going to scramble. No, he pulls back. And then he tries to run again. And that hesitation may have cost him a first down. We go three and out. So now second and 10 for Weber State. And a nice carry there by number 23. Brings up a third and five. Number 11 going to throw it deep to nobody in particular. We're looking for number 81, but overthrows him, and their drive stalls out. So now first and 10, Alex Cobb on the option, and he finds a lot of green in front of him. Nobody's going to catch him. A huge touchdown run for Alex Cobb, a 57-yarder to the house. And there was not a single Weber seat defender in front of him as he got outside. Probably could have pitched it to Smith if he really wanted to. But I don't know if Smith would have picked up the touchdown. But Cobb didn't really need to pitch it anyway, so he might as well just take it himself. So now a little wide receiver option. And broken tackle by number 23 breaks a few tackles. And Weber State now is going to have the ball at the 43-yard line. Now a second and seven. Play fake by number 11. Throws over the middle. Finds 81. And Blake able to bring him down, but not before he gets to the 35-yard line. Weber State's offense a lot more potent than I thought it would be. And here's number 81 making the grab. Gets inside the red zone. Four catches, 80 yards in the first quarter for him. So now second and 10. 11 going to throw it to number 7. And he's going to fight his way into the end zone for the touchdown. Max Taylor couldn't drag him down in time. And Weber State's going to end the first quarter with a 14-7 lead as number 7 showboats a little bit. And now we go into the second quarter, second and seven. Here's Cobb looking, and he's going to throw the interception there. Number 22 going to pick it off. And honestly, that's one thing we're going to struggle with with the first season. It doesn't really matter who plays quarterback for us. None of our quarterbacks are particularly accurate. So we're going to have to deal with it, unfortunately, as number 84 makes a grab for the first down. So now here's number 11, looking for the tight end, overthrows him. He's going to be intercepted by Justice Red, and he's going to take it up the right sideline, and nobody's going to catch him. It's going to be a pick six to tie the ball game up. Justice Red making a great play in the ball, and takes it back 73 yards for a touchdown. Now number 11 threw it to the right guy. He just overthrew him. He threw it right above his head, and Red able to get the pick, takes it all the way back, and we're tied at 14 now. So now Weber State trying to bounce back. First and 10. 
And number 11, going to find number 85 with plenty of room in front of him. Gets into Carson City territory. And now the Wildcats with a new set of downs. Now second and 10. Here's number 11. Under pressure, and he's going to be brought down for the sack. Robinson going to bring him down. And now here's the throw right side, but nowhere near a first down. And Weaver State has to punt it away now. So first and 10, Cobb going to throw over the middle. Finds Brian Arrington, the speedster of the Carson City receiving core. And he picks up a big first down there. Now a third and seven. Cobb has to scramble to the right. Plenty of green in front of him. He's going to pick up the first down. Sliding in this game is really hard, by the way. And Brandon Love, one of the offensive linemen, goes down. Which isn't good because our offensive line sucks as it is. So we can't really afford to lose any starters. But a dot there to Birch, who's going to pick up the first down. And now here's Cobb on the option. Going to pitch it out to Smith. And Smith tries to fight for a first down. He's going to fall a yard like a few inches short that is then on third and inches he's going to push forward for the first down under two minutes to go now third and ten here's Cobb over the middle and he finds nobody in particular so we have to settle for a field goal here's Ian Dale splits the uprights and good and we take our first lead of the season slash the dynasty slash whatever so now Here's Weber State trying to get a first down here, but they're going to be a yard shy. Now at third and one, they're going to hand it off to number 23. He's going to find a lane, picks up some good yardage there, gets the first down into Carson City territory. But now here's number 11 on third down. He's going to throw left side and overthrows his intended receiver, and they have to punt it away. So under 40 seconds to go. Alex Cobb going to take a sack there. And now it's going to be a third and 19. Cobb looking. He's going to throw right side, and it's incomplete. But there is a flag on the play. It's going to be pass interference on Weber State. So we're going to get the ball at the 30-yard line now. And last play of the first half, and Cobb is just going to let this one fly. And he is going to find Brian Arrington, but Arrington nowhere near the end zone. But still a great grab anyways. We go into the half up 17 to 14. But we are really struggling with Weaver State in this one. So here's the handoff to Eugene Smith. He's going to break a tackle on his way to a first down. Five carries for 57 yards up to this point. Now a third down. And Dontrell West into the game after Cobb was struggling. Passing at least. And then West throws an interception. So it doesn't look like he's doing too much better at all. Might have to get Cobb back into the game now. Third and seven. Here's number 11 back to pass. He's looking over the middle. He's going to be intercepted. Ogden Billups with the pick. And their quarterback's not doing very well throwing the ball either, honestly. So West still in the game. Here's a little play fake. And he's going to throw right side. And it's caught by Justin Carr, who's going to get into Weber State territory. Big first down there and a great catch by Carr. Definitely one of the more dependable receivers on this team. So now second and ten. West going to run the option to the left side. Pitches it to Smith. Smith going to be just shy of the first down marker. So now third and two. West on the play fake. He's going to end up just dumping it off to Smith. Smith with plenty of green in front of him. He's going to get inside the 20 up to about the 13-yard line. And a new set of downs, first and ten. And this time we hand it off to Smith. I didn't realize it was a read option, however. And Smith is going to lose six yards on the play. That leaves us with a third and 16. Wes going to throw over the middle, and that probably should have been intercepted there. But instead, now we have a chance for a 36-yard field goal. Ian Dale for the second time today. Going to split the uprights, and we take a 20-14 to 14 lead. Weber State with a chance to take the lead, possibly. But on third down, nearly intercepted by Ben Mott. But instead, they go three and out. Now on third and 11, here's Eugene Smith making something out of nothing. But he's going to be pushed out of bounds just a few inches shy of the first down. So we decide to go for it on fourth and one. Running a power option. And it ends up being West flipping it to Smith, which ended up being a pass. But it's still a turnover on downs as we're stopped short. As number 51 showboating a little bit. But we get the ball back now. Second and 10. And an interception thrown by Dontrell West. And now Weber State going to get the ball right back. As 47 is pretty hyped. But now they face a third and 10. Number 12 on the play fake. He's going to be brought down for the sack. Number 11 got pulled after throwing all those interceptions. 
And it doesn't look like that guy's much better at all. So now Alex Cobb back into the game. Running an option pass. He's going to find Donnie Wrestler. Who's going to be brought down at the 44-yard line. We are again in Weber State territory. Very next play, first and 10. Cobb over the middle. Going to find Bobby Polino. And he's going to fumble the football, but is picked up by Eric Boyd. So disaster averted, although I think Polino was down anyways. But nevertheless, we're in the red zone. And then just an overthrow there. Birch couldn't get a foot down. Cobb just led him a little too much. Now third and ten. Cobb going to scramble to the right. Backs up. Scrambles to the left now. And he's still looking. He's going to throw it. Looking for Smith that overthrows him. And we have to settle for another field goal. And Dale three for three now in the game. And we take a nine point lead now up 23 to 14. Fourth quarter action now. Here's the third and ten. Number 12 going to find number seven, and he's going to be stopped a yard shy of the first down marker. But we'd go three and out, and now it's Weaver State ball again. Number 31 breaking a tackle. He's into the open field, but Marquise Blake going to strip the ball from behind. It's a fumble picked up by Jimbo Jurgensen, and Jurgensen going to get a pretty good return out of it up to our 46-yard line. But now we have a chance to put the ball game away. Second and ten. Hand off to Smith to the right side. Smith going to pick up the first down and more into Weber State territory up to the 34-yard line. And now we face a third and 14. Here's Cobb. Going to throw, and it's swatted away incomplete. And we decide to go for it on fourth and 14. We're way too close to really punt it, but not close enough to kick a field goal. And here's Cobb rolling to the right side, and he's going to throw it, and he finds Polino for a first down up to about the five-yard line. And now a third and goal from the three. Farrell McKnight tries to punch it in, but he's going to be stopped well short. And we decide to go for it again on fourth down, trying to put the ball game away here. And Cobb going to throw right side, and somehow, some way, he's able to find Brad Birch in the end zone for the touchdown. We go up 29 to 14, and I decide to go for two to make it a three possession game. Cobb gonna scramble to the right under pressure, and he's gonna be brought down for the sack. So the two point conversion is no good, but we still have a 29 to 14 lead. Three minutes to go in the game. Number 12 gonna throw right side, and it's completed to number seven. It's gonna get up to our 41 yard line. And Weaver State still putting up a fight here. Second and 10, number 12. Going to go to the right side. He's going to be intercepted by Kadeem Olan Rawaju, his second pick of the game. And Kadeem going to take it to the end zone for a pick six, the second of the game. And we go up 36 to 14. Under three minutes to go. It's not looking very good for Weaver State. And then another interception for Justice Red. Just an awful game for Weber State in this one. Now a third and two. Cobb trying to throw for a first down. He's going to be intercepted himself. And Cobb able to make the tackle, however, to redeem himself a little bit. But 11 total turnovers so far in this game. Under two minutes to go. And that's nearly another one. But instead, number 81 makes the grab. He's going to get into the end zone for the touchdown. A 54-yard strike. And now Weber State needs to go for two here. And the play fake by number 12. He's going to find number 86 in the end zone for the two-point conversion. It's a 14-point game. Weber State needs this onside kick to come back in this one. And it barely even goes five yards, let alone the 10 that they needed. Polino dies on it for God knows what reason. We end up going three and out. And now it's third and 10. Number 12 under pressure. He's going to be brought down for the sack. Time keeps on ticking. Weber State has no timeouts here. And on fourth down, Arrington is going to get in there. The two-way player going to get the sack there. And we walk away with a 36-22 victory. Our first victory of the dynasty in our first game. I mean, we should beat teams like Weber State anyways. And honestly, guys, this may end up being our only win of the season with how bad this team is. Because we didn't really necessarily even play a good game in this one. It's just Weber State's so bad in this game that we can get away with a poor effort like this and still get a victory. We got to play Arkansas next week. Then we got to play Louisville. Then we got to play Florida State. And I guarantee none of those games are going to be easy games at all. And even our whack opponents are not going to be this easy, especially when we got to play Boise State. I mean, we do play Sacramento State as well, who's in this dynasty. But even they won't be a very easy opponent. But I guess we'll savor this victory knowing that we're not going to get too many games 
like this ever again, honestly. At least not this season. But Olan Rawaju with two picks, Red with two picks, Ogden and Cochran also had picks in this game. And two forced fumbles by Marquise Blake. But again, this is probably going to be the easiest that it gets this season at least. I expect a really rough season. But anyways, make sure you guys hit that like button, hit the sub button if you're new. Click on the notification bell to join the notification gang. And if you like what I do and you want to support the channel in a more personal way, you can always pledge to me on Patreon. Links in the description. And you guys have yourselves a wonderful rest of your day and I know whenever you're watching this. Like I always say guys, no matter what happens, make sure you guys keep that mofo rolling. I'm out of here. Deuces. Got, they trying to turn me to a monster. Every year I'm a conquer. Okay, see, I bring the thunder. Walking in humble, I leave my homies. Sting you like bumble. Running with pride, 10 over. I still will bliss, I don't fumble. Blind my